Hello everybody, so I am here today with my April favorites. I know it's a few days late, but I've been traveling for about the weekend, last week and a half, and I hadn't really had the chance to film anything, so I figured I would just film it now and get it uploaded because I really wanted to share with you guys what I've been loving this month. So I think I'll just start with the basic makeup products. I don't have a ton of things, but um, yeah. So the first thing is what's on my lips right now. It's not anything super special, but it's the L'Oreal uh, Lip Caress. Like I tried to show you this before when I bought it in Romy. It's a very, um, your lip, my lips look better. Just plain glossy as you can tell. A little bit glossy. That one, lip color. It's what I had on now. And I just love the formula. It's from L'Oreal, I think I said that, I don't know. I just love the formula, it's, I don't know, you put it on and it just feels like water and then it sort of just, it keeps its glossiness for a while, but it sort of, it feels, feels much more matte, much more natural. Um, and I really love it. So I've been wearing this a ton, and then in addition to that, um, I've also been loving my sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss Lip Plumper from um, Soap and Glory. Um, it's in the shade Punch Bowl. And I don't want to swatch it for you because I don't really want to put, like, lip plumper on my hand. But, <laughs> um, it's just, like, a pretty pink. It's fairly natural, but it just gives my lips just a little bit more color, which I really appreciate. And I do like the plumping. It does kind of sting, but it feels nice as well. Um, and I really like it. And it stays on for a long time as well. And then another makeup favorite is my MUA Makeup Academy palette which I showed you I showed you recently and it's in the shade Undressed uh, because it was supposed to be a dupe for the Naked palette and I don't own the Naked palette so I figured why not and I have been loving it um, I don't know you can probably tell the shades that I've been liking the most but I guess like these two lighter shades this one these two and then like this golden you one right here um, I like a lot of the other ones as well don't get me wrong but those are the ones that I've been applying on a more regular basis um, and what I haven't been either if I hadn't I didn't bring this on my last trip I think I brought it on the trip before but um, I've been loving using this a lot just to create some new eye looks that I wasn't able to before and then one last sort of uh, makeup product it's sort of sort of skincare related but it's this Basha BB cream uh, it has SPF 27 which is odd it says it's oil free and it's a self adjusting shade for all skin types um, I've had this sample for quite a while. Uh, I'll just show you the shade. I don't know. Um, it looks a little dark, but when I apply it, it doesn't look too dark or anything on me. I just, I don't know. I really like how it applies. I've just applied it with my finger. And I haven't worn it all month, but I've worn it quite a bit. Um, and it just goes on really nicely, really smoothly. And it doesn't give a ton of coverage, but it just, like, evens out my skin tone. It makes my, my skin look a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit makes me feel like a little bit more put, put together and whatnot and the SPF 27 helps out a ton um, I wore it when we were traveling mainly because we were in like sunny places and so I needed some SPF and I didn't get sunburn at all on my face which I was really happy um, the rest of me just mainly ended up tan which is good which is very lucky but I used sunscreen there too so I don't know I really like it and I don't know if I will go out and purchase the full size but I don't know how much it costs. If it's not too pricey, I do need to pick up some sort of BB cream or tinted moisturizer or something with a good amount of SPF for this summer. So that's a possibility. Um, then just a couple of skincare things. This first thing is another sample sort of size. It's the Caudalie Instant Foaming Cleanser. Um, I don't know. I I've been using this off and on for a while because it's a sample, so I use it when I travel, and then I feel like when I go travel, my skin would always be, like, really nice. Like, I feel like this this um, cleanser makes my skin look really nice, so then I use it when I come back to a little bit. So, I, as you can tell, there is, like, the smallest little amount left in there, so I have probably, like, just a couple more uses. But I feel like it makes my skin just feel really nice, clean and smooth and soft. And so I'm considering switching over and trying out the whole Caudalie line of products for a while because a lot of the products that I have tried of theirs, I really, really do love. And right now I'm still a complete Clinique girl, but um, I might try to get like a full sort of sample set of things, see what I can get from Sephora sometime soon, just to try it out for a while and see if it does work for me. And the next thing is another skincare related thing, <clears throat> and it's the Hydra Beauty Serum from Chanel 
and I have just used this as my sort of morning moisturizer for a while and I don't know it's a serum so I assume you just put a moisturizer over it but it gives me enough moisture at least right now because I don't have super dry skin I don't have super oily skin either but I just really love how it makes my face feel and it almost makes it feel like I put on a primer already like it goes on and it moisturizes my skin but then it sort of just smooths out my skin as well so this also makes my skin feel really soft and really nice and I've been liking it a lot um then my hair things I feel like I've showed this like in my last favorites but it's the Salon Hits 11 Benefits um, hair product and then the beauty hair elixir that goes with it I just love them they just make my hair really soft really smooth frizz free I just like them a lot um, and I'm definitely going to bring whatever I have left of this back to the United States with me before I have to go find and buy something else. And then, just sort of an odd thing, uh, my Island Margarita pocket back from Bath & Body Works. It just smells so good. I don't even know it smells so much like margaritas, but it smells like limey and... I don't know if there's a description. Oh, nope, there's not. I'm just kidding, but... It just smells really limey and fruity and tropical and summery and I just love it. As you can tell there's not much left. I've been throughout Spain there's a lot of bathrooms without toilet paper, without hand soap, without water, you know whatever. So I've been using this a lot but I always love it and every time I put it on someone's like what does that smell? Something smells really good. It's always this. And then one other physical thing I have to show, um, the Crest 3D white strips. The Advanced Seal Shimmer Whites. It says they're available at Target. Um, and I've only used about half of them. And I don't know. Do my teeth look white? Mm -hmm. I don't really know if it's... To me, it, I, it has made a difference. Not a huge difference, but enough of a difference that I can tell my teeth have been a little bit wider. Um, and you're supposed to use them like 12 days in a row. But they like any sort of whitening product always makes my teeth feel really sensitive. So I've just been using them every few days or so. So I still have like half of the pack left. But from what I have used, um, I've used one or two a week um, this past month. And it has worked really well for me. So I'm going to continue to use them and hopefully use them up before I go return to the United States. But other than that, um, what else did I want to talk about? Favorites. One is the sun. Um, I just spent five days in southern Spain, and it was sunny, and it was beautiful, and I was just really excited. And I got some, a little bit of tan, I don't know, maybe, maybe you can tell, I don't really know, whatever. But, um, I got a little bit of tan, it was just sunny and nice, I could wear tank tops and, like, skirts, and it was just great. Um, I will have vlogs from that trip, um, down on my second channel. I'll link my channel down below. It'll probably still be a few days before I get all the vlogs up, but I'm working on it now. Um, other than that, along with the traveling, that has been fun. What else was I thinking? Oh, TV shows. Um, I started watching Doctor Who. I think it was like the very end of March. Um, and I really like it. Um, I've kind of skipped around a little bit. I've just been watching like the current, the like newer seasons, but um, I haven't watched it in like the last week because I was gone. But I was, I don't know, part of the way through season six and they're on season seven now. I think that's right. Um, something like that. I think I'm part of the way through season six in whatever case. And I don't know, I just like it. It's funny and it's witty and I don't know, it's fun to watch. And then also Game of Thrones, I finished the second book and I'm about a third of the way through the third book of Song of Ice and Fire, of course, the, the series. Um, and I've really been liking those as well. It just keeps like getting, I don't know, like getting worse and worse almost. Like things just keep happening and keep happening and I don't know, I really like it a lot though. Um, so those are a couple of other sorts of favorites. Also, um, I think, I don't remember, I think I'm mentioned Justin Timberlake's new album last time and then also Fall Out Boy's new album and then Paramore came out with a new album I like their single I haven't downloaded the album yet so those are some favorites I like basically basically all of Fall Out Boy's new album and all of Justin Timberlake's new album are still like on like constant repeat <laughs> in my iTunes and since I've been traveling a lot I spent a lot of time like in buses and things so spent a lot of time with my headphones in and half asleep but 
you know, whatever. But with that, it looks like this video is getting to be a little long, so I will talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what are your favorites this month. And subscribe to my channel. I sincerely appreciate it. I think it's down here. Subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would really, really appreciate it, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!